Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder BB Show. It's a new day and I've got a great guest for you. I've got Nicole Clapp. She's here to talk about what? Other than coffee. Nicole, thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me on your show. National Coffee Day? Didn't know there was such a thing. Catch me up. All right, National Coffee Day is the Friday before Memorial Day in which we distribute this pretty little red flower and recognizing that Poppy Day is to increase awareness for our veterans and the sacrifices they made during World War I and continue to make in our military and to support their families throughout the efforts that they have contributed to the sacrifice so that we can have the freedoms that we enjoy each and every day. Okay, National, and I said it wrong, I'm sorry, not Coffee, Poppy Day. Tell me, what is the importance of your organization that you represent? Yes, the American Legion family in 1920 actually set aside the poppy as our memorial flower. As I mentioned, World War I had just concluded, and this was a way to recognize the sacrifice of the bloodshed in Flanders Fields in Belgium and France of the lives lost so that we would continue to understand and appreciate going forward. So we have been distributing poppies annually ever since. And so that we can have donations to contribute for the medical needs as well as financial and food insecurities of our veterans, military, and their families on an ongoing basis. Nicole, how do you tie people into giving it their time, their talent, and their service to something that most of them, this happened before they were born. How do you get them to participate? Actually, let me tell you a little story. When I was four years old, I saw people distributing the poppy and I didn't know what it meant, nor that it wasn't even real. So at that point, we determined that I could become a member and I was eligible for the service of my grandfather in World War II to be a member of the American Legion Auxiliary. But more importantly, I saw smiles on people's faces that they were helping contribute to a greater cause. And so anyone can in your neighborhoods as distributing poppies, typically in the month of May or Poppy Day and Memorial Day as a remembrance of those who served before us and that they then in turn can contribute to helping with their needs going forward. That's a great story. Okay, so my audience can participate. When you participate in whatever way you do, time, service, or talent, what, what is the payoff for the, the veterans in the program? Yes, uh, the payoff, so to speak, is that they in turn receive the contributions and those go to support, could be their medical needs, financial needs. I mentioned food and food insecurity, which is a common problem now with active military families for unemployment, underemployment and military spouses and the high cost of living near military bases. So it can go to support their activities of daily living, which is a very important for their quality of life. I want to thank you so much. How do my audience find out how they can participate in National Poppy Days, but also support the veterans? Yes, if they would go to poppydayusa.org, that could provide them with additional information that they may be in questioning regarding National Poppy Day. Thank you so much, Nicole Clapp, for sharing your personal story and for sharing National Poppy Day. I really appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.